So remember the last time we were here and we talked about cooking and I said, you know, I'm a pretty good cook, man. I, I use some pretty good cooking techniques when I make stuff. You know, I, I'd say I'm a comfortably between a level one and a level two chef, mostly just because of laziness. And today we're here for pancakes. Something I could definitely make. I definitely can make some fucking pancakes. Oh, truly, right now, downstairs for breakfast, I have a quick mix box of pancakes. Like, just add water and then get pancake mix right now. And I add in an egg, and then I add in like the sugar and the other stuff to it, the, you know, the vanilla extract or whatever to that for pancakes. Pointless, I know, but it's what I do. So let's find out four different levels to make pancakes. Uh, amateur to food scientist level this time, a little bit different. So let's check it out. Hi, I'm Steven, and this is my pancake I like recipe. Steven, bro. Hi. I like I'm Steven. I'm Beth, and this is the Domino family pancake recipe. Hi, I'm Penny, and I've been a professional chef for 15 years. The first dude is my favorite level one this chef. Because I got tired of the monotony of regular pancakes, and I really wanted to shake it up. My children loved pancakes when they were growing up. We make them all the time. This is my pancake recipe. How many kids do you think she got, yo? Every morning that my husband is willing to do the dishes. All right, let's check it out. That shit we have our fancy. pancake mix already prepared in this bowl. I start with the flour. Obviously, there's right. flour here. That where I'm at right now, all things honest, is the pre-prepared pancake mix. That's what I'm working with with pancakes. So that's right a now. little bit of whole wheat flour. I replace some of the all-purpose flour with, and then of course there's a little bit of sugar because you gotta have sugar. Gotta have sugar. Two whole brown eggs. Yeah. There's a lot of shells in there. And then we have our chemical leaveners. We have baking powder and baking soda. To help them rise. Cut about half of the cheesecake. Cheesecake. Just breaking up the monotony. I don't like cheesecake in itself, but inside a pancake. Oh, I might have to sneak that in the skits pancake. I might do that. Oh, that sounds good. And then you just want to kind of Yeah, break get it, it up. in there. Oh, Jesus. Get is... it in there. More of an arm workout than I would like. Get that shit. Start with yes. Milk. And I then support we'll that. Up with our buttermilk. Ooh. This is some graham cracker sprinkles. Ooh. We added a little je ne sais quoi. Don't know what that means though. This is the important part. Don't over. Oh my God! I almost spit this up over all over my shit. Don't say that. Or mix it. Don't do I that. Don't it means like a. This. And you want to make sure that you mix it. Thoroughly. It's like swag. That's it. Say That's quoi. the batter. Now it's we're like gonna swag. cook the pancakes. All right. So now on to the fun bacon part. This is where the magic is really happening in this recipe. I'm gonna take the bacon. Word. And we're gonna chop it into small pieces. Okay, I can handle that. And just one down through the center for good measure. You probably don't what do I bacon like and cheesecake in the same pancake like to though. To grease the pan is to use some vegetable oil on a piece of paper towel or a kitchen towel. I like the way the oil works better with the pancakes than the butter. You wanna take a good chunk yeah, of Yeah, I use butter, bro. Butter. So I don't really need to over grease this, but I'm gonna make sure that the pancake doesn't stick. Before I make the pancakes, I always like to do a tester pancake to make sure that the pan is hot and the consistency of the batter is exactly where I want it. I, again, used to do that. Do not anymore. I'll just dump the bitches on there. I definitely. Nice and hot. So yeah. Preheat it to a good medium, medium high temperature. And That's so pour thick. My batter into the center. So this is the first pancake. The first pancake is not usually your best pancake. Most often, it ends up actually in the garbage. Some Ooh. say the first pancake no. never comes out perfect. I go against some. And now we wait. <laughs> Waiting for pancakes is one of the hottest things you can do in the world. One of the what? Hottest? One of the hottest things you can do? That's a nice color on both sides. But this is just... Oh yeah! <laughs> that baby a hot! Don't lie. Don't pretend like you ain't burnt a pancake before. I be so burning the fuck out of my pancake. try to throw away the first pancake. It's Ooh, tell him. If we're gonna be honest. I eat that shit. Don't, don't even front. Ooh, that did All right, wish me luck. Ah! Yes! Told you the first one. Now that our testing pancake came out great, let's make four more. That's just stupid, bro. Now we're gonna go in for round two. 
some blueberries on. Uh. Candied bacon. Uh. I like a piece of bacon in every fork full of pancake. I think I'm romanticizing. Now we wait for the bubbles. <laughs> Romantic. But it's still not ready. Mother's intuition. You know when to flip the pancakes when you do, see lots of bubbles. Do it by the bubbles. bubbles yeah, on I, top, and the I bubbles do it by the bubbles. Bubbles are already starting to release. I'm supposed to flip it four times, about twice on each side. I four only times? Have to turn my pancakes once. Yeah. <laughs> now, you only flip a pancake it once, bro. There we have a beautiful blueberry pancake. Nice lift when I turned it. Thank you, baking powder. So you have the bubbles on the first side that tell you when to flip, but you don't have that kind of benefit on the second side. So any place that little bit of batter escaped when I flipped it, that's kind of my guide. Once I see that look more dry, then I know maybe I'm okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna make our toppings. Always oh, start with some. I definitely get some pancakes sometimes that are just not done all the way and I gotta put them back on. That will melt on our warm pancakes. So the she made butter cute that was little in the pancake ones. recipe, we only used three tablespoons of that, but I went ahead and made the entire pound of butter brown butter, because why not? I'm gonna chop the strawberries. Ooh, oh, he fucking it up. Strawberry syrup on top of the strawberries. Yeah. First, we'll put the maple syrup so that the blueberries will stick to the syrup. Nobody likes maple syrup. We're gonna start with a bourbon <laughs> maple syrup. What? What? We're gonna take a vanilla bean, split that. Oh, she fucking this shit up. And scrape down the pod with the back of a paring knife. All carbs. Scrape that into there and add the bean as well. That All carbs. Bourbon, lots of it. Bourbon. And we're gonna bring this up to a simmer. The easiest way to get it to a consistent simmer is to first bring it up to a boil and then as soon as it hits a boil, Turn it down, and we're gonna let that hang out for about 10 to 15 minutes so that all the flavors blend together. Our blueberries, and a final flourish. Oh, don't do it to them. them. Don't what do it, it to them. Then I love blueberries and pancakes. And lather it on. You can even pour it. I'm not a fan yeah. of strawberry syrup, but Skitten likes it, so. Drizzle it over the top of my pancakes. Oh yeah, huck and it up. Joke, I'm also gonna put it in a small pitcher and serve it alongside because the amount of syrup on the top is never enough. So I really like a little bit of a fruity element. Okay, what that? And so I made an apple butter. Apple butter is like apple sauce, but it's apple butter. way longer. Apple and butter. Rich and a lot of the moisture has been cooked out. So I like to just serve this alongside my pancakes. Got you. And dip in as I go. Let's dig in. Okay. My husband's gonna be so jealous that I ate these. <laughs> <laughs> these are my pancakes. Hey, the level three pancakes look flame to me, but I, I gotta go with Beth, bro. I love refrigerators. No, I love blueberries. I love blueberries. I babe. see where I messed up, but it's really good. Oh my god, they're so good. Okay, so we're gonna skip level four again. If you guys wanna go see level four yourself, please feel free. Uh, me and my sister used to make pancakes at my house when I was younger, and we would make gigantic stacks of pancakes. And my parents thought to fix this, they would get us a waffle maker. So my mom went out and got this waffle maker all fancy and stuff, and they came home one day. Me and my sister had woken up early, walked to the grocery store, came back with groceries, and made 35 35 waffles and they're double sided. So each one waffle is really two waffles. Stacked them up on plates, bruh. Plates. And then we had to put them in the freezer. We had to thaw out waffles for like the rest of the week to eat. Uh, I love cooking breakfast. I'm a morning person. I love getting up early and doing stuff. Shouts out to Supernova. We was talking about we needed to eat more when we're working out. And I think we need to start with a good breakfast. So then shouts out to Supernova. Token. Uh, anonymous and screw getting back on our on your workout stuff and zealous uh, uh, But get up in the morning. Let's try some of these pancakes and post some pictures in the discord I know ladies willing to do it. She be cooking all the time any goddamn ways. I'll holler at y'all later, man. Peace